hi. So we have one more example. Let's first read the statement. Statement says, the length of parallel sides of an isosceles trapezium are 6 cm and 14 cm. The length of each non-parallel line is 5 cm. Find the area of the trapezium. Right? So what we have? We have one isosceles trapezium. Isosceles trapezium is a trapezium where the length of two non-parallel sides is same. Suppose this is the trapezium. Then what they are saying? They are saying it is an isosceles trapezium where the length of each non-parallel side is 5 centimeters. Right? So they are saying this is 5 centimeters and this is also 5 centimeters. And what they are saying about the other lengths? Among other lengths, one is 6 centimeters. So I am labeling smaller one as 6 centimeters and the longer one as 14 centimeters. Right? Now we have to find the area of the trapezium. And area of trapezium is equal to 1 by 2 height of the trapezium multiplied by the sum of the lengths of two parallel lines. So if I call L1 as one parallel line and L2 as another parallel line, the area of the trapezium will be 1 by 2 height multiplied by L1 plus L2. Right? We have L1 as 6 centimeters, L2 we have as 14 centimeters, but what about height? Height we don't know, right? So we have to find it. So what is the height? Height is the minimum distance between the parallel sides. This will be height. If I draw a perpendicular from this point to the line of 14 centimeter length, that means this is 90 degree. Right? So this will be the height. Similarly, this will also be the height. So this will also be 90 degree. Right? And what can we say about these two angles? This angle and this angle. If we have two parallel lines and one transversal, the sum of two interior angles on the one side of the transversal is 180 degrees, right? So what will be this? This will be 180 minus 90, that is 90 degree. And this will also be 90 degrees, right? So what we have now? We have actually divided that trapezium into a rectangle. This is a rectangle and two triangles. And what is special with these two triangles? These are right angle triangles. Since this is 90 degree, this will be 180 minus 90, 90 and this will also be 90 degree. And these two triangles are actually special. And how they are special? They have this hypotenuse, same. Both of them are 5 centimeters each. And since this is a rectangle, this side of the rectangle will be equal to this side of the rectangle, right? And since this is a right angle triangle, this side, the base, we call it as base, this will be equal to this. Why? Because if we calculate the length of the base in this triangle, this will be 5 square minus height square. This will be equal to base square. Right? Similarly, if we write for this triangle, in this case also base is equal to 5 square minus height square. And what is height? Height is actually this side of the rectangle and which is same in both the case. Right? So how much will be the base? See, this much part of this parallel line actually belongs to this rectangle. So if this is 6 centimeter, this much part will also be 6 centimeters. 
and since both these sides are equal we actually can find the length of the base and it will be 14 minus 6 divided by 2 remove this much length of the parallel side because it belongs to the rectangle and then distribute the remaining side equally among these two triangles so it will be 14 minus 6 by 2 which is 8 by 2 and this will be equal to 4 centimeters right so the length of the base will be 4 centimeter over here and 4 centimeter over here and now if you put base equal to 4 over here what we get from here we can get if we take 4 square to this side and height to this side we will get 5 square minus 4 square is equal to height square 5 square is 25 4 square is 16 this is 9 and what is this this is the square of height right so what will be height height will be square root of 9 that is 3 yes we have found the height we have the length of the parallel sides now we can easily find the area of this trapezium and the area of the trapezium will be what is the area area is 1 by 2 height which we have recently found as 3 centimeters multiplied by the length of the parallel side so what is the first first one is 6 and second one is 14 right and this will be equal to 1 by 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 6 plus 14 is 20 right and now if we solve it further 2 ones are 2 2 tens are 20 so now if we multiply 3 by 10 3 tens are 30 centimeter square so this is the area of the trapezium right we have found the area of the trapezium when the height of the trapezium was not given to us we have calculated the height using the Pythagoras theorem and then we substituted that height to the formula of the area of the trapezium and then we calculated the area of the trapezium right so sometimes the problems are not very straightforward we have to understand them and then we have to solve them using the concepts which we have learned earlier